and in this hanging out here with yourself, you begin to see something's happening. There's an alchemy. There is a chemical reaction happening. Something's going on and you begin to feel a sense of bliss, a sense of presence, a sense of love. Quite often, if you're doing this with a teacher, with a guru or a guide, then you begin to project this on your teacher. You think because of your teacher, you're getting this love. That's again another trap. You need to be careful not to fall into that trap. Again, you're projecting it on the other world. If you sense love and acceptance, you feel calmness when we're together. It's not because of me or it's not because of another teacher. It's because of yourself. It's because you're becoming quiet and your attention is going inwards and you're paying attention to yourself. You're beginning to get a taste of the presence which is inside you, the love which is inside you. You're getting a taste of it and it's enormous. This presence that's within you, this love that is inside you, it's huge, it's vast, and it's waiting to be discovered. But in order for it to, to be discovered, you have to also learn how to become quiet. The more you become quiet, the more you begin to feel it. The more you begin to feel it, the more you recognize that it's coming from here. And here could be anywhere that you are. And that's the good news. That is the good news, my brothers, sisters, that really you are the one who you're looking for. The power of love, the power of the presence, the silence, the bliss that you're looking for is really generating from within yourself. It can't be any more simple than that. But for that, you have to begin to let go of the ideas you have and, and begin to forgive yourself and forgive others, which is a very difficult thing to do for a lot of us. But it does require spiritual training, like any kind of training in our lives. Every time you want to decondition and to let go of an old pattern and replace it by a new way, you have to be attentive to it. You need to work on it because naturally the mind wants to go to the old ways. The mind wants to go to whatever is in the past because that's the only place that it lives. The mind is in the past. Whatever you think is the future is what the mind brings from the past and projected into the future. But basically it comes from the past. But here, if you detach yourself from your past, from your future, you detach yourself from whatever has happened in either one, and you're just here right now in this very moment. No ideas. Forget about your marriages. How many times you've screwed up in a marriage? Forget about whatever is going to happen into the future because we don't know. Forget about that you betrayed your ex-wife or husband or you betrayed your children and you left them, you abandoned them, you left. Okay, I understand, you did that. It wasn't a good thing to do, you did it. But here and now, right now, if you can detach yourself from both, both past and the future, and hang out in this moment. Just do it right now, in this moment. 
hang out in this moment right now. Put your story away. All the pain, all the story that you have, for one moment, detach yourself from it and just hang out here. For one moment, put your ideas away. Whatever idea you have about yourself, you should have done that. You should have done this. You should have never became an alcoholic. You should have never became a drug addict or a sex addict. You should have never invested your money recklessly in stock market. You are screwed up because you didn't go to college. You didn't educate yourself. Put the story away. Okay, put the story away and hang out here with me in this moment, in this moment, right now. And see what's here right now. Examine it for yourself. You don't have to believe what I tell you. You don't have to re repeat what I tell you like, or whatever you heard from Osho or you've read from another guru or another teacher or Jesus or the Bible or Moses. You don't have to repeat those things. You need to discover this for yourself in this moment. Hang out in this moment right now, away from your past and the future. And look and see what you find. You find innocence. That's what you find. You find yourself being six, seven years old without an idea. And you will see your enthusiasm about life again. You will feel the love which is here. And if you want to go deeper into it and you want to really liberate yourself, then you have an option. You can surrender your will. You can surrender your free will. You can surrender your past to God. You can just surrender it and say, Lord God, Majesty, I surrender my free will. Whatever I've done in my life and whatever I'm going to do, I surrender it to you. From now on, you operate through me. I don't have a free will anymore. I surrender that to you. And let her majesty, the supreme, operating to you making your decisions, thinking through you, making your mistakes, making your, your success. Let, it, let that one do it by surrendering to it. And then you will see things get washed away because you come to this acceptance that everything that has happened up to this moment it was a part of the grand plan. You had to go through it to come to this point. You had to become humble. Your ego had to be washed. Everything in your life needed to be happened to that way for you to become who you are today. Look how much you've experienced. Look how much you've learned through everything that has happened to you and the people who've done you wrongdoings all of them were a part of this play that had to be on your way because this is what you needed to learn but now you can let it go and you can go back to your essence <laughs> 